Hello and welcome to the second of two videos that take a nostalgic look at Eventide. So as I mentioned in the previous video, Eventide was part of the Shadow Mall block. It was the second smaller set. A number of the um, cycles were mega cycles, so they, they went across both of the sets in the block. But there were a number of cycles that were just cycles within Eventide itself. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the set, I suggest you watch the first video where I explain a bit more about the some of the chase cards and some of the keywords and abilities in here. If I see anything in here obviously that's related to keywords or abilities, those sort of things, then I'll obviously flag them up. But there's a bit of better explanation in the first video. So let's uh, open some packs. As I mentioned in the previous video, uh, this is the last of the sort of modern era unopened boosters that I have. So there's uh, no more old school boost boosters beyond this video to open, unfortunately. But I do have some other stuff uh, waiting in the wings that we can take a look at. And of course we've got War of the Spark, which is only just around the corner. So plenty of stuff to look at. Okay, so our first common is Flame Jab. And we've got a Shore Crasher Mimic. So there were a cycle of Mimics. Uh, one green blue, it's a 2 1, it's a shapeshifter. Whenever you play a spell that's both green and blue, Shore Crasher Mimic becomes 5 3 and gains trample and ten, end of turn. You saw this a lot in the block. There were lots of cards that cared about color, color combinations, uh, the color identity of cards and had interesting hybrid uh, activation costs on them as well. So there's a lot going on in two color hybrid cards. Here we have uh, Edge of the Divinity, which also cares about the sort of uh, color of cards that you're enchanting. So this is the, the white black uh, card. It's part of, again, part of a cycle. So it enchants a creature. As long as the, an enchanted creature is white, it gets plus one, plus one. And as long as Enchanted Creature is black, it gets plus two, plus one. Cycle of Skulkins in the set. This is Hoof Skulkin. So there are also cards that cared about just monocolour cards. So in, for this one, target green creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Unmake was in the set. I think this is the, the third one we've seen now spread over these two videos. We've got Wickabow Elder, uh, a minus one, minus one counter theme was, was prevalent in this set and in the previous. Drain the Well, destroys target land and you gain two life. Hot-headed Giant, another Skullkin, this is the Antler, which is the one that uh, targets white creatures. Smouldering Butcher, which has Wither on it, so it deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. Beckon Apparition. Creature Removal card. That um, puts a one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying into play. Actually, it's, sorry, it removes creature cards from the grave, from a graveyard, any graveyard, actually. So it can mess with, um, there's a couple of things, I, I like cards like this because you've got a couple of things this can be useful for. It can interfere with an opponent's graveyard shenanigans. But you can also use it on your own graveyard if you want to quickly get hold of a, a blocker, say. So, great sort of dual utility card there. We've got a rules tip here for retrace. A loyal gyre falcon is our first uncommon of this pack. We've got crumbling ashes. Idle thoughts. And another liege. So this is our our first liege of this particular video, but we did pull two others in the uh, in the previous video. So this is the this is one and uh, one and then three black green hybrid. 
Creature horror, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Other black creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So those abilities were the same on all the lieges, but are obviously colour specific to the casting cost of the liege. And then the part at the bottom uh, was the bit that, that changed. And so for, th for this particular one, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a 1-1 one, one black and green worm creature token into play. So we've, I think we're on to our, our play set now across these two videos. Wickabow Elder. Durgar Assailant. We have a Stream Hopper. Ballynock Trapper. Gift of the Deity. So this is another enchantment here that um, cares about the colour of the creatures that it enchants. So for this one, as long as enchanted creature is black, it gains plus one plus one and has death touch. As long as enchanted creature is green, it gets plus one plus one and all creatures able to block it do so. Sends in this moment. we've seen a few of these now. Another Drain the Well, I think that's probably our third one across the two videos. Hobgoblin Dragoon with Flying and First Strike. Antler Skulkin, this one targets white creatures. A Bird Token, notice in this particular pack, and I don't know if they did this in any other set, they've actually inserted the, the promo stroke token card in between the commons and the higher rarity cards. Selkie Hedge Mage, I think uh, in the first video I mentioned that there was a cycle of Hedge Mages in here. Unwilling Recruit. A Noggle Hedge Mage. Oops, see a foil lurking there. Inundate is our rare, so three and three blue sorcery return all non-blue creatures to their owner's hands. And our foil is a grazing kelpie. Let's just get the foily goodness there. It's not one of the best cards to foil. So three green blue creature beasts, two three. Uh, hybrid green blue sacrifice grazing kelpie put target card in a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library and it has persist on it so when this creature is put into a graveyard from play if it has if it had no minus one minus one counters on it return it to play under its owner's control with a minus one minus one counter on it yeah it's funny with so not surprising i suppose with some, obviously the artwork, some artwork lends itself better to being foiled where other artwork just basically looks foily but nothing really pops out. I mean I suppose it, it's making that, uh, <laughs> it must be the grazing kelpie, pop a little bit there. Actually it's probably popping more on camera than it is actually in real. Yeah, that's, that's probably the only effect that's really having. I don't see any sort of, sometimes, you know, with some of the foils, you get certain aspects of the other parts of the artwork sort of pop out. Like you might get a branch if, the, you know, this was, was done like some other foiling. So there we have our foil. Another Skulkin. This is Fang Skulkin. Got a Soul Reap. Airy Ophis. Cinder Pyromancer. We have a Riverfall Mimic. 
scourge of the noblis. So this is the this is a red white enchantment that cares about the uh, colour of the creature that it enchants. Raven's crime. Wilderness hypnotist. Sends enlistment. Drain the well. Hobgoblin dragoon. We have a beast token. Stalker hag. Another hedge mage. Gwillian hedge mage. A quill spike. Uh, our rare is is bloom tender. Okay, so this is currently the most expensive rare. So we've done pretty well here. It's around forty-two bucks, I believe. So one and a green creature elf druid. It's a one-one. Tap for each colour among permanents you control. Add one mana of that colour to your mana pool. Okay, so now I can see why. So I can't really complain about these packs. Um, several leeges. We've got the uh, most expensive rare in the set. So yeah, doing pretty well so far. Desecrator Hag. A good way to end the series. Rend Claw Tro. We have a Noggle Bandit. Stream Hopper. Seems to be lots of cards we've not seen actually in this pack. Recumbent Bliss. Smouldering Butcher. Una's Grace, another Beckon Apparition, another Slippery Boggle. We're getting close to a play set of these actually. Oh, is there a foil lurking in the back there? Noggle Bridge Breaker. We have an Elemental Token, Belligerent Hatchling. So We've looked at quite a few hatchlings so far, and you can see what the, the common denominator here. So they all come into play with four minus one minus one counters on them. And obviously that um, reduces the power toughness. And then as you play either, in this case, red spells or white spells, it will remove counters. Plus it has a color specific ability on it as well. Dream Fracture, our rare is, oh no, I'm not there yet, sorry, then we have a Durgar Hedge Mage, our rare is Sapling of Cothlinor, so we do have a legendary creature, which is always nice to pull one of those when we're doing these uh, pack openings, three black green, black green hybrid, a junior creature, Tree Folk Shaman, Sapling of Colfinor is indestructible. It's a 2-5, and whenever Sapling of Colfinor attacks, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, you gain life equal to that power's toughness, lose life equal to its power, then put it into your hand. Okay. And we have a foil, loyal... Jaya Falcon, three and a white, three three creature bird with defender and flying. Whenever you play a white spell, an oil Jaya Falcon loses defender until end of turn. Oops, there we go. Interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm looking through the lens here and looking at it obviously for real, and there's some interesting foiling foil effect here, these, these sort of blue lines. I don't know how that's coming out on camera. The sky also is is have got sort of a 
got a blue hue to it if you actually manage to position that right under the light. There we go. It was good to see foily goodness. Okay, last pack of this video. And, uh, well, last pack of this series, actually. Right, so we have a shell skulking. Got a night sky mimic. Favour of the overbeing. Another Noggle Bandit. And Shaw Crusher Mimic. Kiskin Spell Duster. Trap Jaw Kelpie. A Kiskin Zilot. Zilot. Drain the Well. Hot-headed giant, antler skulking, and we have an elemental token. Oh, actually, we've got our first untap. I think unless I've missed one. So we've got a Durgar mine captain, two red whites. To, it's a two-one creature dwarf soldier, one red white untap. Attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. It just reminds us that this particular symbol is the untap symbol. Canker Abomination. Knock Larvae. And what's our rare? Okay, so we have a part of the mega cycle of lands. We have managed to get one in our last pack. So we've got Rugged Prairie, which is the, the red white one. So these were interesting filter lands. There was a, um, a cycle of these that was spread over both sets in the block. So you could tap it add colorless to your mana pool or you could use it to filter colors um, but not only that is for either red or white that was invested in this when you tap this you get to add red 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 white or white white to your mana pool so it's um yeah basically filtering the mana but also adding extra mana to it as well I'm just looking on here, so this is what, yeah, 665 these are around. So like I said, there was a cycle of these spread over both sets. So that's a pretty good end to that particular uh, pack and uh, the unboxing of the unpackings as a whole. Hope you've enjoyed this series of videos. I've certainly enjoyed doing them. It's always great to open uh, old, old packs and just uh, take a trip down memory lane if you've... Um, you know, if you were around when these came out, or you played when these came out, should I say. Um, and just seeing some of the, the older cards that often filter through into modern modern products. Um, you know, several of these, these cards obviously crop up in some of the modern master type sets, or in the um, eternal um, constructed, um, pre-constructed product as well. You know, things like uh, the Commander set I'm thinking of and the dual, well, the now defunct dual decks, those sort of products. Um, but also just seeing, one, some of the original um, appearances of the uh, abilities and keywords is interesting within the context of, of a set. Um, but also some of the stuff that, that, you know, moved into something else. I mentioned something in the first video. Um, 
and that's why I brought these back from last week's video. I'm going to see if I can find it because I just wanted to show we only think pulled one one chroma card and uh, there it is. We may have had others but I, I was trying to spot it as I went along and I don't think I did a very good job probably. Um, so here we have chroma so when Heartlash Cinder comes into play it gets plus X plus S until end of turn where X is the number of red mana symbols in the mana cost of permanence you control. So of course that um, very much reminds us of devotion in uh, later magic sets. So just again interesting to see the sort of first iteration of that concept. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.